Morning guys, Luke Hunter here from Hunter's Fishing Adventures and we're just rounding up some bait here for round two of the monster mud crabs and crabbing's no different to any type of fishing, you need your fresh bait no matter what type of fishing you do, you always got to try and get your fresh bait and mullet is one of my favourite for crabbing we're getting garfish as well but this shouldn't take too long. We're getting lots of mullet here, all good size ones. So hopefully we'll be crabbing in no time. Just working these shallow weed beds. Seems to be good size mullet. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, well, here. Buried me in the weed. It might have been a big bloody broom. Oh, he's back out. Everything going there. Everything. Tried to burrow me in the weed, that brim. I'm only using a tiny hook. Tiny little hook. Too bad. Little bobby float there. It's a size 8. Size 8 short shank. And I use 10 pound line, but you can go as low as you want. You can go down to 6 pound, 4 pound even. Oh, big one. Coming in now. Whoa, it's a big one. <laughs> big slab bait. Alright, good crab baits, good flathead baits, good jew baits. Oh, Gary. Snack. Oh, nice size Gary. Bigger anyway. As you can see down here, on a shallow weed bank, it's probably about a metre deep here, maybe a little bit deeper, but it's high tide at the moment. And all these bait fish like the mullet and garfish, they use these weed beds as protection from the bigger fish because the bigger fish won't generally go into the shallow weeds. So that's why they're hanging in here. That's where you'll find them. <laughs> Down, I'm on the one now. I'm on the one now. Many beauties. Horse, look at the size of that one. That is it. He's gonna snap me off. He's gonna snap me off. What a horse! That's over 40. That one. Put out the tussle with here. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> They're getting bigger. Look at the size of that. Huge. <laughs> Jeez. Massive mullet. <laughs> this is the biggest sand mullet yet, it really is. These aren't bull mullet. Oh, you can tell they're not bull mullet by the elongated bodies and how slender they are. And the small heads. Big sand mullet. Same big one, but who's gonna be net man? I can go get there. You reckon you can do it? Okay. Oh, you just let go. Yeah. You can see him on the surface. Probably go scoop. I think he took a chunk of my bait off. That's why he let go. Yep. Oh. Cheeky butter, cut it in half. Oh. That sounded better. Oh, that's a good fish. Have you got a crab or what? Fish, snag at of the crab. Something's got you. Pull it in. Something big, Jake. Really? Whoa. What's that? Taylor. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I think I have fish. <laughs> <laughs> so these fellas came right up here. Yeah. Nice little chopper. Yeah. Good work, mate. Maybe I'll pilch it, I tell you. I wonder what else is lurking out there. Ooh, it's a crab, is it? Ooh, yeah. It's a crabby, I think. Is it, a, is it the mug crab? Oh, it feels heavy. It could be a mud crab. This feels really heavy. Oh, come on. Be the one we want. Um, I'll take the net if it is a mud crab. This is really heavy. Can you get the net for me? It's the one, yeah, it's the one under the... Under? Yeah. This is a... I'm pretty sure this is a mud crab, guys. This is so heavy. It's a huge... Yep, thanks, mate. Yep, this is absolute. Oh, he just let go. That, that was so heavy. He might have taken my bait. Bummer, eh? That was a muddy for sure. Yeah, the weight of him. Oh, he's. Oh, no. That's why you let go. It's a bloody mud crab. Oh, I got him! It's a bloody muddy! I got him! That's right, I told you! That's what I wanted! Oh, there we go. Look how big he is. Oh, I'm so happy. I was aiming for it. You talking that? And I got it. Look at that. Look at that for a hunk of a mud crab. It looks like a female. I'm not too familiar with the muddies, but it looks like a female on top. Let's have a look underneath. Oh, what a beauty. That's what we're after. I had dropped... Oh! I dropped one of them before, and I, I, I knew it was a muddy what I dropped before. And um, this is round two. Came back with the kids. <laughs> and she's a female, this one, so I might let her go. Look, you're allowed to keep the females. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, watch it, Jake. <laughs> you are allowed to keep the females in New South Wales. Jeez, they're strong. Oh, he's trying to get me. 
a lot stronger than the um, blue swimmer. Don't want to get pinched. There we go. Wow, what a crab. <laughs> Look at that. It's not pregnant or anything. Um, we are entitled to take it if we want, but I feel I'm going to let go. That's a monstrous body. The nippers aren't that big. Must have lost its nippers at some stage, but the body is huge on it. I might get a picture with that actually. There we go, guys. Finally got my mud crab. I, I was determined, like this is the second time, came back in the afternoon. And that's a beautiful female, big body on her. She must have lost a nipper at some nippers at some stage because the nippers aren't that big, but the body is huge. Um, as you can see, the female underneath, it's got the wide, wide genital area a bit, I suppose you would call it, the flap there. But I'm happy. Oh, oh she nearly got me. Oh. I'm happy. Oh, Jesus. I'm happy to let her go breed again and make some more babies because she is a beautiful mud crab and I'm not short of a feed so let's let it go eh? I, I'd hold those nippers but I feel it's gonna out overpower see I, I want to hold both nippers like a, like a proper but oh well that'll do bloody beauty I'm gonna let it go want to watch it swim off Here you go, girl. Make some babies out there. Ooh, she's cranky to the end. There she goes. Bloody beautiful. I'm going to put your whole hook in this. Like Jake's one. Taste they are. Decent fish. Now we can't eat it without getting your hook. Jeez, what do you got here? Out of the mangroves. Whoa. Oh. Thought you'd snap you off then. A big oh. flathead. Oh, monster. Take loose in your drag. It's a monster, a one meter one, Jack. It's a one meter flathead. No, it's Yes, it is. I'm not kidding. It's a one meter flathead here, guys. Didn't get a good look. Yeah, it's huge. It doesn't even have the fish anymore. This might have been what you kept losing, Jack. I think I did. It's a huge fish. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not one metre, but it was hard. Oh, it's big. Wow, it's big. It's not. Oh, it's. Yeah, it's good. That's like 90s. Wow. And look where we are in this tiny little mangrove creek. Unbelievable. Monstrous fish. This is huge. Yeah, Jackie knows what to do. Look at her. Gets a brag mat straight out. She's onto it. There's some big fish around here. Jake just lost a couple of monsters. And then Jackie hooked up on that straight away. Unbelievable. Oh, you only just lipped him. Look, look, how, look how dark he is. Because he's in the estuary. In the, oh, look at that. The hook just fell out. Because um, he's in the dark water. Move that pump up the front. Move some stuff up the front. Wow. That's a good fish, Jack. Getting up the 90s, I reckon. Um, just looks bigger because he's in that he looks so dark but let's have a look maybe not quite that big but wow he's a big big river monster this one 80. yeah 82 82 centimeters look at that what a monster it's a big black black prehistoric looking thing this thing wow no, no, you can't keep them over 70, Jake. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, you want to move back here, Jack? Yeah. Okay. Move back here. Where, Jake? Can you go up there, Jake? Yeah. Okay. Beauty. And look at that for a big girl. She's been a. Oh, oh. I was going to say, she's been a good girl. Usually, if you're gentle with them, they'll be gentle with you, but. Sometimes they just fire it up. There's not much you can do. But look at that. What a river monster. What an absolute monster. You happy with that, Jay? Yeah, I've seen it coming out of the brown water. I thought it was a meter, but only 82 in the end. But geez, what a wonderful fish. Absolutely wonderful. 
So happy with that. Just watch your fingers there, Jake, moving back a bit. Well, anyway, we're gonna let her go. Because that is a beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so we're so happy with that. Pretty wonderful. Stoked. Alright, let it go. Woo! Okay. Ready for this? Come on, big bear. Look at her, so dark, such a prehistoric river fish. Whoa. There she goes. Is it what I want? The muddy again? Come on, be a muddy. It's pretty heavy, but I don't think it's quite muddy heavy. No, you just let go. Oh, the other one's going off now. <laughs> this one's coming to the surface. Oh yeah, it's a blue swimmer there on the surface. It's not real big in these estuaries. This is a female. I haven't caught a female for so long. Look at her skiing in on the water here. I'm not real interested in a female. But look at her. She's starving. Look at it. <laughs> she was starving. And I got this one back on this one, I think. Yeah, look at and, uh, he got off. Look at him. He's going around in circles, this one over here. That's it, lift your rod tip, that's it. That's, oh, keep whining, keep whining. He's on there. Oh, it's a big long tom. What the hell? <laughs> that was a big long tom. Oh, okay. What happened? Did he jump off? Yeah, he yeah. Off. they're pretty hard to hook long toms. That was pretty good, but <laughs> Let's yeah. see how you lifted your rod tip to them, but that was yeah. better. That was better. I think I got. Is it a blue swimmer or is it a muddy? Oh, it's coming to the surface, general sign. It's a blue swimmer again. There she is. Same one? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Skiing on the surface. This, this female is so hungry. Look at that. I'm skiing her. Oh, no, oh, no, oh. oh, I had you. Sorry, mate. But yeah, she's so hungry, that female. Where look at that. Go? Look at that. She's on the surface, cranky. Yeah. <laughs> Big claws on her. She's coming back to the boat, Jake. Just on the I don't know what her go is. She's to I've got no idea what she's doing. She's, on <laughs> she's just having a good time swimming around on the surface. Oh, Jake. It's it? It's, yeah. a, it's a crab. I can see it. It was a crab. It was on the surface. There you go. Our determination paid off. I told you there was muddies in the area. And every estuary system will have about five of these little mangrove creek lines. You just got to get a Google Earth and just see where they're at. And that's where you get the muddies, up the mangrove line creeks. And as you saw, we get massive fish up here. We got the Dewey up here. It's got an 82 centimetre flathead. As you can see by the mangroves and that, it's just quite scenic and quite peaceful. No boats up here, it was really peaceful. I don't know whether I got lucky, but both times I've been up here, no boats at all, so it's really good. It is very shallow up here, but you got to watch that up these little creeks. You don't want to get stuck up here, that's for sure. Because, yeah, be a while to high tide. All right, we might rip back to the yacht and see what else we can do. An interesting looking boat. It's got a stuffed teddy in the back there. Assume someone lives on there. Gotta go slow. You gotta go under him, Jackie. Go on the other side. See if you can land like that. Keep going slow. Slow and steady's the key. Big one, you reckon? Or? Whoa, might 
Oh yeah, big one, mate. Oh yeah, there he is. Big bluey. See so if you can get him over there. Oh. See that? Keep it on. Oh. Don't keep it on. Why don't? Oh, it's massive. Slow. Keep your rod tip low. And go back. Go that way. Whoa! Big crab. That's crazy. That's a big boy. That's a big one. Yeah, it is a big boy. Well, I caught a crab. He's very large. Look, don't let him near your rods here. Why? Like, what will he do? Well, if he bites it, he'll snap the rod. Really? Yeah. Easy, he will. That's a big... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. He's, a... He's a big one. Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm happy I caught him. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we'll keep that one. He's a clean blue swimmer. Yeah. So clean. Look at the size of him, mate. Yeah. Bigger than the last time one? The one last time? Um, maybe not quite as big as the other one, but biggest one you've got, I reckon. Look at the size of him. <laughs> Spread your arms out. He's almost as wide as you, mate. Yeah, look at that. Not quite. Yeah, big one. Nice clean. Pretty nice. Yeah. Might um, put him on the ice. Yeah. Beautiful. Put him out of the misery. Nice and slow. Nice clean crab. Big claws on him. <laughs> nice big claws. I feel too bad. Maybe that. Maybe. I made him a cookie here and line's gone off the unweighted filtered. Oh, nice little dewy. Is that dewy? <laughs> Told you that's how you get them, Jake. No, I told you, let's get them. I said unweighted pilchard. It's no sinker at all. Bit of pilchard. You want to measure it? Nah, he's only a baby. Let's just measure it. <laughs> nah, he's only a baby. That's how plastic keeps getting hammered. But what an absolute beautiful little fish. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous he is. Good to see him. All right, let's let him go. Usually where you get one, you'll get another one. They're quite good little ones on 10 pound long. Here you go, mate. Look at him. <laughs> They're cool lads, eh? Yeah, they're good. Alright, let's get another pilchard on. Yeah, they go hard, little Jews, when you got tiny light line. That's crazy. Ah, oh, that's cool lads. Look at that. I had the bloody soft plastic just in the rod holder. And Jake just said to me before, or do you want me to bring it in? I said, no, I'll leave it there. Little Dewey, on the soft plastic. Bloody beautiful. Yeah. Plenty of these little fellas around. They're great fun. Look at him right in the corner of the mouth there. Come on, mate. Here we go. Alright, gonna let that baby go, little fella. Yeah, mate. Might drop that plastic back down. Pretty cool little plastic, that one. Good imitation of the hardy heads. Yeah, good one. Well, that worked, didn't it, Jake? Yeah. Believable. <laughs> Jackie, you gotta come and have a look at this thing. It dwarfs the one I got. That's the one I just had. That's the one I just had. Oh, look what I caught. Whoa. This, that's what we're, What do you mean? I was ch what you mean chasing bug crabs and we get one on the yacht. I know I had it on my line before and I said to Jake, I think that was a mud crab. Oh. That is unbelievable. Look at the size of this thing. We're on the yacht. Mucking around, this thing is a huge male. You let the female go earlier. Wow! Look at the claw on that. I let the female go earlier, and it's like it's gifted me with another one. But this is a big male. And look at that. That is huge. Oh my god! And you got so lucky. You've jagged him around the leg. We're up the creek mud crabbing earlier and we got that mud crab and I let the female go just in 
good gesture. We're chasing the mud crab, but I let the female go and we're back at the yacht here and geez, Jake's hooked this monster mud crab. I mean, this is over two kilo. It's getting up to three kilo. It's huge. Don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hold him. But we'll give him a go. Whoa, whoa. That is one huge mud crab. That is unbelievable. The claws on that. I hope the camera's picking him up. <laughs> the claws are ridiculous. It's crazy. It really is. Anyway, we're going to keep this one. It's been, yeah, I think we really deserve this and I haven't had mud crab for a long time. It's a nice big male and wow, what an absolute beauty. What a trophy. You happy with that, mate? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think that's a crab of the day. Look at it. Look at that bloody thing. He's huge. Absolute. It's so strong. Anyway, I'm gonna put him on the ice. Get him out of the misery and get him on the ice. Probably gonna tear the esky up actually, but anyway, we'll get him on there. What a beautiful feed we're gonna have. I'm so happy with that. Wow. He lost one of those little fins. Okay. Yeah, I did. Can you move that cooking with a knife? Busterns that can go out first, and then I'll put the crab in here. Yeah, absolute. Well, we don't need any more crabs. Okay, put that on top. Looking cool. That's it. Bloody hell, Jake's on fire. No sooner he pulls the mud crab in, he's got a bloody dewy here now. Nice work, mate. You're on fire. First dewy he's got there. The first, he's been trying to get one of them too for a while. He's finally got one. Yeah. Hold him up, mate. Give us a good look. Yeah. Face this way. <laughs> look, camera. Yeah. All right, let's get him off. Yeah, well, oh, pretty good today, mate. Oh, you're going all right, mate. You're going all right. Give me that hook, mate. Just lightly hook in the cheek. There we go. Oh. Look at this, we're just scooping a few prawns up. And look at this turtle coming over here. He's coming right over for a look. What's going on here, mate? He's coming right over to the boat. It's unbelievable. Look at him. What are you doing, mate? He's checking us out. He's going under the boat. Scoop that fish up while you're here, Jay. Yeah. Little hardy head. Yeah. Get him. Oh, you got him. That beautiful squid in there. Couple of hardy heads. Beautiful. Keep the bait coming. Nice little float over here. Yeah, that's it. Plenty of action out here. It's all going on. Great to see, he's probably about 40, a bit over 45, but not keeping any fish. Let them all go. Anyway, we're going to get him off the hook and chuck him back. Don't carry on. There we go. Let's let him go. You get me. Nice little Jew there. Got off 100 miles an hour, I thought I had a good one. Just on the mullet strip, that one. The old mullet strip, beautiful. That's a big tailor, is it? Big tailor. I don't know how he hasn't been me off. Oh, yeah, he's in the deep. We'll use him for slab bait. Beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
there's the little fella. Oh. Just a little fella. Love that hardy head. Oh, right in the lungs. I'm getting his There we go. Yeah, mate. Hardy head. You didn't check your bait, Jaggy? There's something going on there. Yeah, What's going on, mate? Jake's lost his bait twice. Fishing. You might be learning fishing. I thought that's why they just dropping it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's why. You got weed. They won't eat it with weed on it. And a shell. Get all sorts of stuff. Oh, that jellyfish moving Look at it then. Yeah. There's a big one. It's a big one, mate. What are you, big flatty you reckon? Yeah, probably. Oh, Ooh. Oh yeah, it's a big one. I think my sinker. Oh, whoa, it's a big boy. Oh yeah, I see it. Let me get the net. <laughs> whoa, you wanted a big one. There she blows. Not a bad big fish spot, I told you. Look at that. And I still got my bait. 70 centimetres. Pretty beautiful. What a beauty. Yeah. I thought it wasn't that big, Jake. Yeah, yeah, Dave, I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> Can they get a measure on him? Yeah, sure. Where's the spot up. 65. Pretty beautiful fish, but good work, mate. Yeah. Nice looking fish. You gonna let him go, or what do you yeah, got there? Let him go. Yeah, let him go. Well, you don't want him. Get that hook, mate. Can I get it? Oh yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. You can let him go. Yeah. Well, might get a picture, eh? Well done, mate. 65 centimetres. It's a healthy one, too. Took that garfish chunk. Get a picture. Give you. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Good work. Nice fish there. Yeah. First one for the morning. Gonna do a little flathead fish today and then we'll call it quits, I think. But we're just gonna all throw back, so I think. Throw them all back today. Bloody beautiful fish. Right, let's let it go. Come here. Let it get a breath of it. She's ready. <laughs> Up she goes. Yeah, right. Good fish, right? Eh? I think yeah, I'm just spectating today, I tell you. It's great. Just watching them catch. Good to see. I reckon you got a decent one here, Jack. Whoa. Can't beat yesterday's, can you? What's what's it doing? Spinning around a bit. What you got? What is it? Oh, it's a big Jew. Oh, it's a Jewy. It's a little Jew. Oh, it's a Jewy? Oh, it's a whiting. It's a huge whiting. On the, what the hell? On the garfish. <laughs> He's, what the hell? It took a piece of garfish. They don't eat that. That is unbelievable. Well, the brag max out. Let's just have a quick measurement of him. That's crazy. That is a horse of a whiting. I thought it was a freaking Jew. Absolute horse. That's what they call elbow slappers. The old elbow slapper whiting. You jagged him. You didn't even hook him. So I don't know what's happened there. He's just kind of swam along. But geez, they're a nice fish, these whiting. Hey, he's 40. Geez, 41. 41 and a half. Nice whiting. Nice whiting, Jack. 
Want to get a little picture with you? You want to hold him? No, I'm not. Hey? Exactly. Nice. Alright, we'll get a little. Look at that. What a beautiful whiting. We're going to let him go just because we're not taking any fish today. That is a beautiful eating fish if you're going to take one. Really is a beautiful eating size, but we're going to let him go just because we love looking after these big ones. They're the big breeding stocks and they're the, usually the strong genes, what you want to look after. You really do. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Absolute monster. Alright, let's see him go. Here you go, mate. Can't believe you ate a... <laughs> Can't believe he ate... Oh no, what's he doing? He's alright, he's just... Let's just swim him in the net for a little bit. He was just grabbing his breath there. Hey, he's right now. You alright, mate? You alright to go? There he goes. I can't believe you got that on a garfish chunk. That's ridiculous. Tin ass. She didn't even know she had it on. Oh, the fish are just coming in now. They're warming up with the sun. Like us. You just wound that into the I boat. I some people like really grab it. <laughs> What's happened here? I threw this out and oh I've hooked I hooked a crab on a lure. That's unbelievable. It shows how many crabs there are around here. I hooked a crab on that. I put a bit of lure scent on, maybe that's what did it. Wasn't a bad sized crab either. Crazy. Look at that guys. Tell you what, I went back for round two and geez, we didn't even get this at the, at the spot. We got this off the yacht, the back of the yacht. And it was unbelievable the way I got him. I had a half a tailor on and it had a huge pincer mark. I was bringing it in and I knew it was muddy. It was really heavy. It had a huge pincer mark in it. Jake next to me had a prawn on and the mud crabs left my tailor. Got tangled in his line and we managed to get him up. Huge mud crab. What an absolute monster. Like, <laughs> check out the claws on it. They are so big. Like, that is a monstrous crab. Absolutely monstrous. So happy with that, eh, Jake? Yeah. It's definitely a PB for him. And that claw. Like, check them out. Check out those claws. So much meat, and that's so heavy, this crab. Good time of year, really heavy crab. Monstrous, absolutely monstrous crab. Look at that, it's beautiful. Anyway, get out there, get into it. It's always something to do, so many different types of fishing. I'm still doing new stuff all the time. Here we go, guys. Look at that. I had to get the big saucepan out for this one. As you can see, I've just cracked the nippers save the mess when it's um, cooking and get the flavours in there as well save us getting splattered when I have to open it and I've stuffed but butter strategically in all few spots there got simple ingredients here bit of garlic I'm gonna put a tiny bit of chili in got shallots and mint and lemon but the main thing is plenty of butter in there plenty of butter in there so we're gonna put all the herbs in I should, I should save a couple for a garnish, actually. Get all those spring onions in. I'm going to squirt that lemon in there. And these are just nice, simple flavours. The butter, the lemon, the herbs from the garden. Nothing too overpowering we want, because I really want to enjoy this mud crab. My hands are covered in butter, of course. I'm just going to go a good spoon of garlic in there. Don't want to go overboard. <laughs> and a bit of chilli on there. 
just enough to give it a little bit of warmth. And then I'm going to put some water in there. And probably, just because it's just going to lightly steam it, and that, that water is going to re reduce down, I'm going to be left with a nice dipping sauce. So, there's a fair bit in there at the moment, but that's going to reduce right down. I might put a little bit more in. Get it on, bring that up the temp. It's a fairly thick crab, so I'm thinking it's going to take a good 10 minutes really. But we've cracked it all open. Flash back when it's served. I'll tell you what, can't wait. Pretty beautiful. I always forget something. I forgot the vital ingredient. A bit of salt in there. We want salt and we want pepper. There we go. Alright, get it back on. check it out it's been a lot longer I ended up cooking it for about 20 minutes in the end it's pretty close to the right level too what I want that water at that buttery mix a little bit more evaporating it'll be near perfect All right, ready to serve as you can see my boy took a well-deserved nipper home he did catch it so he's Definitely entitled to take a big nipper home, but we're still left with that beautiful claw there. And that sauce, look at that. It's about the perfect amount there. And we're just going to drip that through the meat over the claw. And I've cracked those nippers already, so they're going to be nice and easy to pull apart. Alright, let's serve it up on the table. Wow. I tell you what, this is well deserved mud crab. I never give up on stuff that I'm chasing generally, but um, yeah, enjoyed that session very much. It was good fun. Something I'm not used to doing, so it was good. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh, let's give it a bit of a dip in this juice down here. Mmm. And this is a really clean mud crab because we end up getting it in clean water yeah, over near Cooley Wong. So, yeah, really clean mud crab, very unusual. And no muddy flavour at all. Not quite as sweet as the blue swimmer, but wow, there's a lot of meat here. There is so much meat. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy the amount of meat. Anyway, I won't, I won't eat it all in front of you guys as much as I'm enjoying it. Spot on, get into it guys, absolutely beautiful. Alright, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you on the water. Catch us.